everybody. Good morning, or I guess I could say afternoon now. How are you all? I'm glad you're here. We're going to try a lot of different angles, so be patient with me. So is everybody's weekend wonderful? And are you ready to cook something up in the kitchen with me? All right. I'm breaking number one rule in the kitchen. <clears throat> Do not sit on the counter. Your mother's probably taught you that. Don't sit in your street clothes on the counter, even in the bed, right? First of all is the sound check. Can you hear me? Hey, Jerry. Glad you're here. And Walter and Michael and Evram and Eugene. Please tell me that you can hear me, okay? Type it in there. All right. Jerry says we are live. Good. Hey, Marco. I'm glad you're here, too. All right. So here we are in the kitchen. Today we're going to cook something up together. How many of you love breakfast? It's one of my favorite foods. A lot of you are asking, Stephanie, what is it that you're doing? What are you eating? What kind of exercise do you do? <laughs> and I say, basically, it's just I was born with the luck of the drum. I got a skinny dad and a mom uh, who also whose hips didn't spread. <laughs> so it's just natural. But my husband would be quick to say, nah, you earn it a little bit. You're careful. So I do eat well. I try to eat a balanced diet. And we'll talk about that as we're cooking. But mainly, I want to show you some of the things you're interested in. Today, we're going to be putting on all these different shoes. Woo! And let's see. I wanted to show you. Right now, I have no shoes on. <laughs> There's a little barefoot for you. Actually, I have stockings because I know you love stockings. Got some red toenail action going in there. My mother would be the first to say, that was not ladylike, and I know. But I'm trying to work with our space here. So what if I... Hey, Ed, we're glad you're here. Sam, 57-year-old home remodeler. That's a wonderful thing. You flip houses. Oh, and you get to have the day off. That's always fun. Hello, Joseph. Nigel. <laughs> Nigel. Darren, good to see you. All right, so <clears throat> today... <clears throat> Let's start with, I think I'll put these lovelies on. Many of you love this in a very fancy uh, video I did that was a nice, beautiful, uh, delicate, ladylike short skirt and a, a very lovely uh, blouse. But now we're going to make it a little more casual. Before I begin, I would like to thank all of you. I especially like to thank Camille, and I'd like to thank Jess Camille from Camille's Closet. She's been a wonderful mentor and help. Jess has been an inspiration. Jess, the queen of heels. Many of the ladies that make it all happen, whether it's on our feet or in the kitchen, or both, right? So by being on our channels and watching us and liking and subscribing, that can really help. Um, another way you can help us is by checking out our Patreons or our OnlyFans, because uh, the ad money on YouTube is just a little bit. It's not very much. So if you want to support us and continue uh, seeing us make some great videos, please support us over there. Check them out. I'm excited about my patron. It just launched this week, and it's got a tier on just barefoot feet. If you love feet, it has a tier on stockings, which is probably one of my favorite tiers. Here, I can't really play with my stockings or tell you much about them um, on YouTube, but I can over there on Patreon. So check it out. And I'm running a special for the first three months. You can for for three dollars a month. You can have a beautiful video and some pictures on four different tiers. So at least go look. There is a link to my Patreon in my About channel uh, on YouTube. So go look under About and you can click the link. All right, let's see who else is here. Marco, Bilal, Nevio. Hello, darling. Hello back. Chris, thank you very much. 
All right, and you probably notice what is a beach ball doing up there on the refrigerator? That's because this is a last day, last chance. If you get your name on the beach ball for a $1 Super Chat donation, uh, if you give me anything from $1 to $100, it doesn't matter. Your name goes on that ball. And if we get at least $100 worth today or 20 names on the ball, I don't care what, which, then we're going to take that ball into the, into the water today, into the pool later in the afternoon and another live, just a quick live. I don't know how to do those outside, so we'll do it together. But anyway, that's up to you guys. You can also see patrons, so that's fine. All right, let's get to business. Trying to see, I want to give Michael, who especially likes a close-up shot of the shoes. Let's see if we can work that out. He has to go back to work. This is his lunch break. Nice thing about the kitchen is you can hear it. All right. These are funny little shoes. They're very elegant. That's why if you like them, go check out the video. I think it's called Colin Stewart's, one of my favorite videos. They have these little cute little bows on the back. Later in the day, later in this live, which is not going to be a real long one, but later at the very end, I'll also put a skirt. It's going to be a micro mini, and I'm also going to put some uh, stockings on. These are pantyhose, but I have some stockings with a lace top, so stick around for that. So what do I do for exercise has been a question. Well, I love to run. I always have. I think I just like to see things. And by running, I can be right in my uh, outdoor atmosphere zone, which I love so much. So I roll out of bed and run, oh, just a mile or two. And then on every other day, I go up the stairs. I go up um, flights of stairs, whether it's a parking ramp, a, a condo. I go up about 17, 20 flights, 10 times. <laughs> I would go crazy if I didn't have podcasts to listen to while I did it, but that's what I do. And the other thing that I do is I, I maintain a pretty well-balanced diet. I was raised to eat and salads, so I'm not really a huge meat eater, but I do allow myself lots of times to eat meat. So I just want to make sure. All right. Looks like everybody can hear me. Thanks for all the comments, guys. Don't forget to like also. Steve is a cool guy, Chris. He's a lot of fun. But he would have stories. If he was here in the kitchen, he would tell on me. <laughs> so he likes to cook, and that's wonderful. How many of you guys like to cook? You guys cook for yourselves? And was it hard to learn? Tell me about it. What's your very favorite? Hello, Manhattan broker. Aw, oh, thank you. you Want to see the soles of my feet? Sure. Favorite pantyhose that I constantly wear. Oh, um, I think I, I think a good just general company is West Loop. They're just generally easy and affordable. But I really the silkier they are, the the better I I like them. Okay, this is for you, little. <laughs> I can't do it too long because it's not really allowed on YouTube and still be monetized. I don't know why. They're a mystery, but we love them, right? Okay, let's get down to business. <clears throat> Today, I thought, and none of you are telling me if you like to cook or not. Oh, there you go. Bob loves his microwave. <laughs> oh, so Eugene, you love to cook. That's great. Do you have a favorite thing? Thank you, Nevio. If you want a whole video showing the soles of my feet without pantyhose, I have seen them. I have done that already, and I'm putting them on my Patreon. So go check over there. There's a whole tier for just bare feet or feet. Hello, Roan. Thank you. Hi, Tony. Oh, I'm glad you love to cook, Tony. It's a good thing. It's important to take care of yourself, and I feel like there's always love in the kitchen, right? So what should we do today? Where can I put us? I guess I'm going to put you here.
Okay, so number one up. One of the things I like to eat in the morning, <laughs> Steve will say I like to eat anything that's cooked because he'll cook alongside me whatever he's interested in eating. Often he'll cook for me, but whatever it is he's eating, I'm always interested in having a bite, you know? The kind of annoying people that like just to bite, that's me. I just want to taste everything. Okay, what, one of my favorite things to make is toast. <laughs> no, I like to just, I don't, let, I don't eat many carbs, but I'll take a toast as a delivery system. So what I like to put on my toast is a sunny side up egg. Let's see what we have in the kitchen. Yes, we do. Here's some eggs. Now, I'm infamous for burning things. I hate to say it. So while the bread is toasting, I will get my egg going. Now, here's something about my Patreon. I'm going to change shoes here. Those were my Colin Stewart shoes. Now I'm going to put on some of these butterscotch heels. This is De Republica. Lovely color. Nice strong heel. I'm going to get one of these eggs in the pan. Let's get a bag. Woo. All right, we're good to go. So while that's cooking, I'm going to show you something funny that I'm going to do. Uh-oh. This is part of my Patreon. This is called ASMR, where your shoes or sounds can, can, can really be interesting. <laughs> You can do some shoe play, like stepping on eggs. And if you like that kind of thing, I don't know. There's something, I guess, dominant about this. I don't want to get too messy right now, but there's a whole tier if you're interested. Okay. Now, another rule that your mom's taught you was never use, <laughs> never use the kitchen rag on the floor. I hope she taught you that. I've seen so many people that dust, or I mean that sweep the floor and then put the dustpan on the kitchen counter. Oh, my goodness. Don't ever do that. It will be very annoying to your people in your household. Uh-oh, I better check on the egg. Let me catch the, the one more little. Okay, that should be good. Let me check on you guys. Okay, Nevio likes that. Lingerie one day, maybe on Patreon I'll, when I get brave enough. <laughs> hey, let me know if you've checked out the Patreon. I'd like to hear your comments, okay? Uh, you can always send me a note. How's everybody doing? Okay, uh-oh, I smell the eggs. All right, so let me 
looking good. Serve it up in the pan. Perfect. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do it once over easy. And I love pepper. I try to avoid salt and just eat pepper. I don't see where my pepper went. Okay, another thing that I love. Let's get your shoe view here. All right, I'm gonna switch out of these Republica shoes and put on some beautiful red Elizabeth Town. Tell me what you think of the shoes as you see them. Oh, these are really comfortable. Okay. So I love avocado eggs, another easy, healthy way to eat. So just take avocado, make sure you wash your fruit and vegetables. They're highly sprayed, and you don't want to be eating that. Okay, so I'm gonna teach you a secret. For those of you that don't really cook, I'm gonna teach you a secret. Ah. So it's just easy to cut an avocado. I suppose everybody knows this, maybe, but I always have fun doing it. Just cut it in half and then, whoop, beautiful. This is a good healthy fat. So, whoops. Ah, mmm. You can plant an avocado tree with this if you have the time and patience. All right, let's scoop this out and get it on my sandwich. I don't know, is this a cooking class or is this a shoe show? Um, let me put you back down here on the floor so you can see a good close-up. For the Michaels in the audience that love close-up of the shoes. Okay. Got my toast and I've got my egg. And that's the first time in a cooking show anyone's ever showed somebody the food that close to the floor. Forgive me. Oh, I guess I need a cameraman. Where's my cameraman? <laughs> Okay, so the best part about any kind of food is the plating of it. So food is always better when it looks beautiful. So if you're going to eat, and even if you're eating alone, take time to put it on a plate. Don't eat it on a paper plate. Never eat it on a paper plate. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm even going to transfer it to a pretty little plate. There we go. And if I had my pepper, which I don't know where it disappeared to, that would be pretty. And of course, you want to have a fruit. Did you know that it's way better to eat the whole fruit? Then it is to eat fruit juice. 
So it's really easy. If you have trouble getting your kids to eat your fruit, the best secret I can tell you is you cut it up for them. If you give them a plate of something ready to eat, they will eat it and learn to like it. <laughs> I was told my kids, you don't have to like it. You just have to eat it. But they usually liked it. All right. And it's so easy, guys, just to make a little something special for your breakfast in bed for your sweetheart. Take time to make celebrations in life. Why not? All right. I am going to see what you guys have to say. Mmm, food looks good. Yeah, simple. Please, please place camera on the floor. Paper? I don't know what that means, Sam. Oh, paper plates. We don't want paper plates. Okay. Um, I am going to take a quick little break, and I am going to go put on my micro and some stockings. So give me one second. Oh, here it is. Da -da -da -da. Okay, a little black with my little black stockings. So maybe I can chat with you while I'm putting it on so you don't get lonely, okay? All right. So uh, another thing I really believe in, because we're all busy, and unless you just love cooking, you don't really want to. Uh, give me something to look at here. You don't really want to spend a lot of time in the kitchen. I believe in batch cooking so I can have time to do other things. So I would just make a big bowl of washed up lettuce and then I will chop up. People get disheartened about eating salads because to make it good, you want some goodies on it, but it's always a project. So I just make a whole, this was Steve's idea actually. I don't know why I didn't think of it sooner. Just make a whole big uh, container full of already prepared carrots, broccoli, uh, uh, anything, celery, peppercorns, cauliflower. Just have it all prepared and chopped so that all you have to do is grab a handful of lettuce, or you could buy those already prepared lettuce boxes. Handful of lettuce, and then dump in some of your already prepared vegetables. If you want any protein, although did you know you have protein in vegetables? Anyway, you can add some walnuts and, un and oranges. You can add garbanzo beans. I'm almost done. Okay. All right, I have to be a little careful. It's a little short skirt. Okay, da da. So, oops, there we go. Let's see, I put it with. Oh, okay, these are some serious shoes. Let me show you my serious shoes. These are some guest shoes. I have not uh, done a video on them yet. These are kind of metallic shoes, one inch platforms, nice stiletto heel, shiny like the skirt, so this would be appropriate time to wear them. And I'll do a whole video on it someday. All right, I better wash up my pan. At least I didn't burn it this time. And just because of space, I'm one of those people, <laughs> I'm one of those people that have to store their pans in the oven.
All right. Okay, now let's do some close up of the shoes. Let me bring you in. Camille, you're here. Oh, thanks, Camille. I know I'm kind of hungry. Oh, hi, Walter. That's such a vote of confidence. Dan, you're new. Psychic surprises. Hello. All right. Look at this bottom. There's a leopard pattern on the bottom. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Now, any food you cook in these is going to taste fantastic. <laughs> Automatic. If you're not a good cook, just put on the shoes. Don't ever forget to clean up after yourself. It's much easier to clean as you go. Mainly bring it to the table with a smile on your face. All right, guys. That's it for today. I just want to say again, a great shout out for Camille. Thank you for your support, Camille. Camille's Closet or Camille One on YouTube is awesome. She has a wonderful Patreon and OnlyFans account. And Jess, Queen of Heels. She's a lot of fun. She wears mostly platforms, and it's really fun to be with her while she's walking in those shoes. So I really appreciate all you guys. Thank you so much for being with me. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.